Okay, neat. Uh, you obtained more gold there. Neat. All right, so I'm going to have to go over there first. Marianne wants to go on expedition. Wait, didn't Ignatz want to go on expedition a little while back and I forgot to take him on expedition? Oh, I don't Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, spring has strange rumors about it. Um, there's a spring that has a mysterious legend about it. Apparently it has some sort of benefit to bathing in it. Um, to increase their support points. Um, so maybe just like two of the ones I don't use as much, you know, in the back, like uh, Ignatz and sure, Lysithia there. Cool. New support conversation available. Cool. Um, seems the residents fled somewhere and they left some useful items behind. Okay. Um, you decided to help the town rebuild. A lot of people are gathering here as well. For all around traveling entertainer are here. It's nice to smile on everyone's faces again. Um. I don't know what this is gonna do. Oh, this might be, uh, points, right? So, brawler for training points? Okay, yeah. Cool. I was correct in that. Alright, let's go to camp here. Let us go to camp, then. And do the things that I need to do. Oh, yeah, I should also use, like, maybe a couple of my support points, just so that, you know, in the future I can use those points on, you know, other dudos. Like, on the same dudos again, that I'd be using them on in a hot second here. Okay, so let's actually do a couple of chores over at the Choa Master then. Is what we will do. We'll do a couple here for some support in the back. So let's see here. Volunteer. So, I don't know. Marianne and like someone you can support with in the back. Um, let's see here. Sure, Raphael. There, do that. These two. Can do a support thing with Bob. Counting on you both. Get some points. Much help I'll be, but... okay. Sure. That'll be no sweat. No problemo. Okay. Neat. And then, nice camera angle there, by the way. And then, I don't know, Ignatz or Lauren's. Lauren's and Ignatz, sure. Sure. There we go. Get the thing done. Take real good care of them horsies. Eh, yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, Lawrence. Ah, uh, just a nice that time. Alright, let's see this support conversation that we have here. Let's just see. Ah, so I got one there as well. And it's with, uh, Raphael to max it out. Okay. Hey, you gotta hear this. What's up, Raphael? You're looking extra cheerful today. Have you seen the looks on all the soldiers' faces lately? Don't they seem way more motivated? Oh yeah, I was wondering what was going on with that. Well, I was curious too, so I asked. And you know what they said? Is it because they got a pay bump? Finances are always a great motivator, I found. Come on, not everyone's fighting just for the money. Sorry, guess I can't help but look at things from a mercenary's perspective. They all said it was because of the food. You don't mean... Yep. They've all been eating the dishes we came up with. You know, with the smoked meat and the rotten food. Hey, didn't I tell you not to call it rotten? In any case, our hard work definitely paid off. And the food's great too, if I do say so myself. Right? I could eat that stuff over and over again and never get sick of it. And it's a big hit with the soldiers too. They said they actually get excited for mealtime now. Plus, it's made them fight way harder in battle. I'm really glad everyone's so happy with it. Makes all our effort feel completely worthwhile. You bet. See, food's important no matter who, when, or where you are. Yeah, back in my mercenary days, I'd scarf down any old scraps so long as I was full at the end of it. But I've changed my outlook. Honestly, I feel like I can work even harder now that I can look forward to all my meals. And I never would have gotten here without you, Raphael. Thanks. Huh. I was just thinking the same thing about you. Guess we helped each other equally. You know, I scrounged up every last piece of gold I could find just so I could go to the officer's academy and become a knight. But once it shut down, opening the inn was basically my only option. But then, running the inn helped me realize all sorts of important stuff, too. And now I'm sure. Once this war's all wrapped up, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to become the best innkeeper in all of Folgrin. So, 
sounds like a solid plan. You'll probably need to up your cooking game even more if that's the end goal. Yeah, I bet I'll have to train under a real great chef to get me where I want to be. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna come up with a brand new style of cooking. Something that'll really work my muscles. What would that even look like? Well, I don't know. I haven't invented it yet. Whatever the case, I know what I want to do now. Hey, what do you say to tagging along with me? I think you've got a real knack for this cooking stuff. Hmm, I'll think about it. Just be ready to have me showing up at your doorstep if the mercenary work ever dries up. So you're gonna stick to being a hired hand, huh? Well, as long as that's what you want to do. Oh, but keep an eye out for an invitation from me. You'll definitely have to come over and try all the rotten food I cook up. Seriously, stop calling it that. But thanks. I'm looking forward to it, Raphael. Just like with Byleth, everybody wants, uh, wants just to go, like, hang out with them or, uh, join them at their part in the world at the end of the day. And yada yada. Let's see here. Ignat and Lysithia have their thing Bob then. Yeah, Neo. Ah, there you are, Ignatz. Hello, Lysithia. Do you need something? I wanted to thank you for your actions in our skirmish earlier. You blocked the enemy's approach, which allowed me to maintain my position on the battlefield. I'm very grateful. Oh, you don't need to thank me. Protecting comrades is all part of the job when you're a knight. At first, I thought knighthood would prove to be a task beyond your ability, but you've turned out to be surprisingly dependable. Didn't you come from a merchant family? I sure did. Then if I may, why have you chosen to become a knight instead of taking over the family business? Because I'm the second son. My older brother is going to take over the business. My father wanted me to become a knight so I could help my brother that way. It was a lot to deal with, but in the end, I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. It's quite commendable to choose a future based on your family's wishes. Oh, it's not so impressive. Your family must have been ecstatic when you were knighted. I suppose they were. To be honest, I am envious of you. You are? I am. I haven't been able to do anything for my own mother and father yet. I hope to be as strong as you and do something equally wonderful for my parents one day. <sighs> You're very considerate of your parents, Lysithia. And I know how hard you work when you set your mind to something, so I'm sure you can do this too. Yes, well, if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Hmm. Um, that is to say, I certainly will. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really should be going. The work of a knight is never done, after all. Hmm. All right, support level C. I don't know if my microphone's gonna be picking up in a hot second, but I hear some sort of clamor and clanging upstairs at the moment. Don't know what the heck that is, but um, something's clanging around. Marianne wants to go on expedition. What the heck is Marianne? You know, Marianne? Hello? Do I still have that tab open, that page for the uh, thing where Bob the answers and stuff? You wanted to go on a freaking thing where Bob? Yeah, go on expedition. We didn't unlock the mountains yet, did we? Because I was prioritizing, you know, literally everything else. <laughs> was the case? Well today. I'm sure it will. Um, I don't know, planes. For you. All right, where's Marianne on this page? Bam, right here. Because I think this is our first time going on a thing we're bought with Marianne, right? I believe. I believe it is. Bada bang. Bada boom. Yeah, it sure is great behind my computer screen here. Um, what do you want to talk about? if I become the next Margaret Edmund, I doubt I will be able to make the people in my territory happy. Well, you know what? Um, it's okay to make mistakes. Oh it's a-okay. Oh my, she goes. The goddess always watches over us, even now. Actually, I think we left her back at camp. Um... Um, whisper of prayer is apparently what she likes. Oh my! 
<laughs> Your prayers are so hot. Uh, no, I'm. <laughs> um, what books do you recommend? Um, actually, I would recommend this book here. It's called 10 Ways to Not Be So Dumb. You should read it, Shez, because you're a big dumb. That's all I want to invite you out here to say. What's your dialogue? Eye contact is difficult for me. I struggle enough to make conversation as it is. When I was a kiddo, I really struggled with making eye contact. Is something wrong with my hair? Like elementary school, like a young, young kiddo. I think the bangs are a little bit weird, but otherwise it's a-okay. I'm slouching in my chair right now. Is that all the dialogue there? Okay, what do you like? Gauze birds and other animals reading delicate flowers. Um, so floral adornment. Dislikes yourself crest tidying up. Oh, man. Cool, lots of affinity up then. Neat. There we go. Sweet. Okay. And we'll get a new support conversation out of that. Sweet. All right. So let's see here. Bit by bit, we're decking out the greens around here. Ah, so I just can't with Leone during a Scarlet Blaze then. Huh. Intriguing. Intriguing. Ah. What a wonderful meal. Hey, you've still got some food left. You don't want it? That Ogma Wolverine meat's super hard to come by, you know. Oh, I don't really eat meat. You can have it. Don't mind if I do, then. You know, I always feel strangely energized after eating this stuff. <laughs> he looks so pleased to be eating it. Not every day I get to hear you laugh. Did I look funny or something? No, it's just that the look on your face made me feel happy. Instead of just watching other people stuff their faces, maybe you'd enjoy trying some yourself? I'm perfectly content just watching. Huh. Well, anyway, it seems like you've gotten more comfortable eating with me, Marianne. I have. When you told me not to act like someone I'm not, at first I didn't know what to do with myself. But I still thought I could learn something from you. And as I talked with you more, I just got used to us seating together. I see. Then why not branch out and eat with other people too? Mealtimes are a great opportunity to make new friends after all. Making conversation and sitting around the dinner table go hand in hand. That's how we ended up friends, right? It might be a good chance to get to know someone else. What's wrong? I'm sorry, it's just... My adoptive father said the same thing to me once. He did? He often criticized me because I avoided other people so much. He said that, as the heir to House Edmund, I must be at least somewhat sociable. But he never bothered to understand how difficult it was for me to do that. I'm sorry. I was being insensitive, just like your father. No, no. You've done nothing wrong. But I don't think it's a good idea for me to get involved with too many people. Why? I only bring misery and misfortune to anyone who gets too close to me. That's not true at all. Why do you even think that? It is true. I know it. Okay, if that's the case, then how's it possible for us to be hanging out right now without any problems? You're right. I should have been more vigilant and kept some distance between us. But you're so kind and I just like being around you. I'm sorry. I'll stay as far away from you as I can from now on. I should go. Hey, wait, Marianne! <sighs> what am I gonna do about her? Jeez, talk about not having confidence in oneself. Well, there's level B, so I guess there'll still be level A. So we're getting there in terms of things. Oh, did I unlock all the way up to A? Pfft, it's the first time we've ever had back-to-back -back support conversations. I didn't even realize that was possible. Are you on your way to get something to eat? I mean, I guess it is if you like build it up a lot over time from like B to A, but that was from one expedition. Apparently brought it to, to, from B to A. Yeah, you? I am. Shall we go together then? Sure thing. 
I wonder what they've cooked up for us today. <sighs> that was satisfying. Pretty nice getting such tasty meals all the time, huh? I agree. The meal was lovely. You didn't finish your meat again. It's kind of a waste, you know. I ate a lot of the vegetables, so you can have it. Hey, if you're offering... Wait a minute. Haven't we had this conversation before? <laughs> I think we have. Did something happen to you, Marianne? You seem more relaxed today. In a good way, of course. Oh, no. Nothing in particular. But I made a decision. I'm not going to worry about whether I bring misfortune to others or not. I've been a part of this army for a while now. And I've worked closely with everyone in it. And nothing terrible has happened to anyone as a result of being around me. Well, of course nothing bad's happened. I'm still a bit anxious about everything, but I decided to adopt a more easygoing attitude. I'd like to emulate you and your nonchalant demeanor, how you can just move through the world without a care. <laughs> You're making me sound kind of irresponsible. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I say if you want to talk to people, then talk to them. If you want to be alone, then do that. I really think it's best to just be yourself. Don't force anything. Yes, I think so too. But I fear my adoptive father might chastise me again if I say that to him. I'm not so sure about that. I think he'd acknowledge how far you've come if he saw you now. You really think so? You might not have noticed, but you're a lot different than you used to be. You're definitely somewhat sociable. More so, even. I just hope that's good enough for him. I'd like to think it will be. Well, I mean, I guess I don't really know what kind of guy your father is. Sometimes I think you say whatever pops into your head without thinking. I suppose that's what I like about you, isn't it? I can already tell I'm going to learn a lot from you. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Well, I guess we got all the way to A. So a decent bit of greens. We're building them up. Oh, we're getting really close to A with Kalexos there. Yeah, we're getting a whole bunch of greens bit by bit. You love to see it. Okay, so on to the next thing, I guess. Do I want to use my two training points right now? Nah, nah. Okay, so... Yeah, I want to go over here first. War Knuckles. Yeah, there's another training point thing for Bob there. Activity point. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, rebels have fortified a checkpoint on the road to the fortress. Breakthrough and secure a path to retake the fortress. Okay. Will do. Will do here. So let's just see. Uh, defeat Viscount... What the hell? Viscount Menya, huh? Menya! I'm hyped, apparently. Time to go to work. But, like, I don't have an advantage against anyone here, so I should probably go into a different class. Like, um... Yeah, maybe I should just be using, you know, master classes and, uh... You know, just be training in advanced classes from here. Maybe, maybe. So, I could try out Dancer for the first time. I could give it a shot. And then, yeah, I do have an advantage against some. Not like the ultra advantage, despite having my, uh, battalion? Maybe just because this class doesn't have, like, any, uh, sword thing robots? Hold on. Whoa, 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 wait. Tome Buster. Yeah, so most sword wielding classes have, uh, Axe Buster. But, rather than having Axe Buster, this one is Tome Buster. Interesting. So it's not necessarily a weapon advantage thing, it's tied to a, you know, that in the class. Which usually is like the regular weapon triangle, but is an exception here with Dancer. Interesting. Very quite interesting. I also find it interesting how, uh, you know, these go up to Axe Buster level 4, and like Tome Buster level 4 and such. Which, um... You know, increases damage to them by 95%, apparently. And then, uh, Axe Buster level 5. Just that extra 5% for, like, the unique class. Huh. Huh. 
Well, we could find out if, uh, hold on, let's see here. Yeah, because then I have, like, the ultra advantage there and stuff. Could find out if Moral Savage is just the upgrade to the Thingmerbob, the Swordmaster. Who else is hyped? Raphael's pretty hyped. I just got to A with Raphael, though, didn't I? Yep, sure did. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to be involved during this chapter. So, Raphael and Petra, maybe? Sure, Raphael and Petra, I guess. So, what does Petra want to be in? I'm ready. Hmm. I mean, I could have a sword user like this, is what I could do. And then I can, uh, actually be in something else after all. But, like, wait. So there's gonna be some land studios, so I guess I can actually do, like, warrior for this one, then. Sure. Because then I, um, yeah. There's some dudos to fight like that. Which I just have the sword advantage against. Are there no lance dudos? There's some lance dudos. So yeah, Petra Raphael. Um, so I can take that, like, better silver sword. That's what I can do. And then... Who's my unit gonna want to support with right now, huh? Who do I not have the green with yet? Let's see here. Um, who am I furthest behind on? Shamir, I guess, right? So I guess Shamir then is who will bring along. Shamir, I should have just cycled from the other side because Shamir's towards the bottom there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, what well, not unit information I want to save is what I actually want to do. Was my plan, there we go, successfully saved. Let us go. Okay. So anyway, in some uh in some other news, if I can, you know Ooh, there's a blue over there. There is a blue. That's pretty cool. You love to see some blue. Hold on, let me just really quickly grab this. As well, grab. Oh, yeah, I'm real slow now. I don't have to be as slow, I guess, because I can do that. Okay, in some uh, other news, the first weekend of August, which is going to be long past by the time that this is uploaded, but at the time of streaming this, the first weekend of August coming up in a couple weeks here. Um, defeat, Viscount, yada, yada, Mr. Dudo. Um, is going to be the uh, Fragapalooza weekend, which is like an annual land gaming event that I've been uh, helping out with for the past couple of years with, like commentating and hosting their smash tournaments with it being online what with COVID. this year's something a bit different what with it being a hybrid event usually usually it's like in person in a you know this kind of gymnasium area where oh my good gracious that shredded them um hold on hold on <laughs> is it just because their res is so low hold on so it's usually like, you know, an in-person uh, thing where Bob with hundreds of people like lined up all with their gaming setups and whatnot and stuff. That was the first year that I went was 2019 and I got to, you know, experience that and such and played in their Smash tournaments and got to know people from that and whatnot. That was a fun time. But then I had to go online the past couple of years, what with, uh, what with COVID and such. So I've been hosting the Smash tournaments online for the past couple of years. This year is a hybrid event, which means that there will be, like, a local venue that it's based out of. But, you know, all the events and stuff are still going to be hosted online. So, I'm still, once again, going to be, like, commentating their Smash stuff, for example, is the thing. And I'll be commentating it out of, my goodness gracious, out of an actual venue, which will be really cool, rather than just in my uh, office space here. So, that'll be neato. Um, but... This, uh, this venue, it'll be, like, limited access. So rather than hundreds upon hundreds of people, like, lined up, you know, with rows and rows and rows of tables, all with their gaming setups and stuff, it'll, whoops. It'll instead be, uh, you know, maybe 50-ish people, is what it sounds like. Like, a lot fewer, is what it seems like. Wait, why doesn't Petra take on this one? I'm just now realizing, with, a. Uh, Because she actually has an advantage against this one, too, is the case. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. I will be hosting, like, the Smash stuff, as I was mentioning there, as well as... Uh, I hope to see if we can get, like, the uh, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, that video game there. 
going in like the parking lot or something like that so that even those without the uh limited in-person access would be able to you know come by and like play some rc car mario kart in the parking lot or something like that because that sounds fun you know that sounds like a good time there so we're gonna take like some organization for that a few days ago i had a uh a meeting with the uh with the project manager for pepper is going to be the platform that we're using which is a new uh a new up and coming uh, video game fighting fighting game freaking tournament bracket thing or bob of sorts and whatnot so pepper is actually going to be supplying the prize pool for uh for this upcoming tournament as long as you know we use their platform so it'll be an advertising campaign for them and you know we'll have a uh, We'll be using their platform and whatnot while they supply that. So it'll be a good win-win there. So I got like a little bit of a rundown on uh, on Pepper just a few days ago. Was the case. So it'll be interesting to try it out. But yeah, so that's a couple weeks from now at the time of streaming this. Again, this will probably be uploaded sometime in like September or something like that with how ham I've been going with, uh, you know, parts of, uh, parts of this series and such. But the time of streaming this, it's currently the 21st of July is the case tomorrow the weekend is going to be a frag of blues a testament because usually we're set up in like a big gymnasium space but with the uh, limited person access and whatnot this year we're going to like a different venue space is the thing so we're doing a quick test event this weekend to like test out internet bandwidth and like setting things up there and making sure everything's a-okay before the real event coming up but that means that you know i'm gonna be sweet temporarily retreated that means that I'm going to be there for a decent while. I'm not going to bring my super good computer to the test event. I'll bring my super good computer to, like, the real event. But I'll bring my uh, not-so-good computer to the test event, I think. So I don't have to, like, dismantle my uh, my whole setup here too much. Is my, uh, is my plan. Bam. Defeat the Falcon Knight and their allies. Okay. Will do. I suppose I will defeat the Falcon Knight and their allies. And tomorrow is also when Live Alive, Live Alive, whatever the heck is releasing... So, I might be streaming some of that during this upcoming uh, test event and such. Is what I may well do. I may as well use a special in case I get my special thing robot back with that yellow there. So, we're going to be streaming some, like, Live Alive and such. I'll probably be streaming some Three Houses. Three Houses. Three Hopes here. I don't want to be too into story stuff when I'm, you know, not here in, like, my dedicated place. When I'm in, like, an area crowd with a bunch of other people and whatnot. Might not be the best place for, like, super crazy in-depth story stuff. So I hope with this session to, like, finish off this story chapter, start the next one, and then for the weekend, this upcoming test event, I can just do, like, these kinds of battles where, you know, it doesn't really matter for the, uh, for the story and stuff. Oh, I should be using a Shadow Blade, right? <laughs> My goodness, the damage. The sheer damage, though. So yeah, gonna be doing some Live Alive during that. I'll try out near Replicant. I can't play near Replicant on my uh, bad computer, I don't think. I'm going to try streaming it from, you know, my good computer onto my bad computer and have my computer be, you know, streaming that to the interwebs and whatnot. So, um, we'll see if that works. I thought I saw a thing, yeah. I thought I saw a thing, my Bob. So, yeah, we shall see how that works and goes and such. We shall see. Time will tell. So yeah, the next session of this game is probably going to be like the first time that I've streamed in years in a place that's not like here, essentially. I'm going to be a... <laughs> I'm going to be at this venue that I've never been to before and there's going to be a bunch of other people around. So, you know, potentially look forward to that next session of, uh, of this, which will be after, you know, we're done with this chapter here. Is the plan. That's my plan! That was my grand scheme and such. I don't know how story intensive Live Alive is going to be if that's going to be like the best thing for streaming at that kind of event, but we'll see. We shall see. I'll just play it by ear and see what happens, I guess. So, hold on. So I have the amount of kills I need. I just need like, I just have a minute and 20 seconds now for what? Um, For defeating the Viscount. So, that means that I may as well... You're not the Viscount. Uh oh. Uh oh. If you're not even the Viscount. 
Now I'm gonna have to kill you like really fast here. Is kind of the case. Well, I will try. I will try here. Doing what I can. Hopefully big damage. There's a small warrior special thing there. Let's use awa awakening again. Assassination again, how about? Okay, I'm gonna have like less than a minute to take down Mr. Dudo there. So where he's, where is he gonna be, huh? I have less than a minute to kill him, wherever he appears. Let's move towards like the center of the map, just be safe. Wow, I, I was moving right towards him. I almost feel sorry for them. I almost feel sorry for them. There is a durability thing or bomb recharge thing over there, but I still have most of my durability. And I don't I'm gonna be able to burn through it all here before the time runs out anyway, right? Probably not. So yeah, something to uh something to look forward to with the uh, next session and uh, whatnot. We shall see how that goes. I have 30 seconds here. Well, um. All right, I still have Thingmer Bobs here. I have less than 30 seconds. It's a bit sketchy. I'm sure I can do it though, right? I can do the Thingmer Bob. If I do wind up playing enough during the weekend that we go right before the story chapter, maybe I'll consider doing the next story chapter at said venue, or maybe I'll just like go back and do some of the like previous S ranks that we missed. Maybe, maybe one of the two. We shall see. I'll see what the environment there is like. I don't know how many people are going to be at this test event. I don't know what the test event is going to be like there. One of the big reasons for the test event is, you know, testing out the internet bandwidth there and making sure it's A-OK. -okay. So who knows if I can even stream from there. My not so good PC should be able to stream like just fine considering, you know, it's not playing it on the actual PC itself. Like it has a not half bad graphics card in there considering it's like my old graphics card from this, uh, from this current machine here. And whatnot. So if I just encode an NVENC, the, uh, the freaking stream in a stream sh itself should be fine as long as I'm not playing a game on the same PC. Which is why Near Replicant might be a little bit sketchy with, like, streaming from my PC at home to that. I will try it out and stuff. So we'll see how things go. We shall see. It'll be a interesting experience. I'm slightly nervous, but I'm also kind of excited. So, tomorrow of Friday is probably going to be focusing mostly on Live Alive there. Oh, Shadow Blade was already maxed. Yeah. Gosh darn. I guess because I reclassed Petra just now and I didn't take a look at her, uh, thing where Bob's. At least Assassinate's, uh, max now. But yeah, probably going to be focusing on Live Alive first and foremost, and then maybe some Fire Emblem Three Hopes from there. I might do, like, some grinding in, uh, near Replicant and such. Assuming it works. Assuming it's not too laggy streaming from my good PC to my bad PC at the venue. We shall see. Who knows how it'll wind up going? Who knows how it went for anybody watching this after the fact? Because after the fact, this will be like, you know, more than a month ago. Or Knuckles. That's pretty cool. Gauntlets infused with magic. Seems pretty neato. We have so many funds.